Obviously, the center got hurt as well. And I always hear you guys talk about when a quarterback gets <clears throat> sacks, they were on the quarterback. So let's go to our resident quarterback, Dan. <laughs> I know you put together some tape on here. Talk to me yeah, about Russell, so what you saw. Before we get to the tape, I, I would respond to Hawk with this. Uh, number one, Justin Fields should start for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Two preseason games in and two weeks till the season, I think it's obvious that Justin brings more good than bad in comparison to Russ. The sacks, I would disagree that they're all on Russ or all on the yeah. offensive line, excuse me. Here's my, here's my pushback, and the tape is going to say, you know, Mike Tomlin, Coach Tomlin says that's not how we operate. I think that's the biggest issue right now. The Russ that we saw isn't operating this offense, and they're certainly not contenders with the Russ that we saw from this past weekend. There's a lack of consistency. Hawk, you know this. This is really stick or flat. When that flat defender runs outside to that motion, yep. You want to replace him. Russ doesn't, and it's a completion, but it goes from what really second and two to second and seven. Now they're going to motion to a four by one, trying to free up Pickens one on one at the bottom of the screen. He gets doubled. He should really replace the middle linebacker with this spot throw. Instead, he kicks the ball out there, and instead of being second and three, it's second and ten. So while Russ gets completions, they're not the right ones. He's got Pickens matched up one on one with the linebacker here. It's second and 14. That, I'm getting in that play to get George the football. Instead, he throws the ball to a hitch to the field, which is a long throw, and it becomes an incompletion. So I'm not sitting here saying those sacks are solely on Russell Wilson, but the connectivity of the plays and the operation and the efficiency of those plays, first time we saw him this preseason, it certainly was lacking for both quarterbacks and definitely for Russell Wilson. And Justin's not perfect by no means. But if they're both going to have this element of their game, why would I not play the young, way more dynamic athlete? I mean, that's the... Yeah. That I agree with. I've, I've kind of gone back and forth with this, and I'm definitely on the record saying that I think Russ puts the Steelers in the best possible situation to succeed, uh, especially sooner rather than later. Um, and based off of what I'm seeing right now, listen, I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's a great situation no matter what. I was originally trying to kind of talk myself into what the Steelers can be and being competitive and, and being potentially a legitimate contender and that's what i you know thought of it as well if we can put rust there you're going to be in a better situation to succeed you're, you're putting an actual seasoned veteran there that can just you know not have to do too much beyond him have a good defense to work with establishing a run game not having to constantly push the ball down the field not have to win all these shootouts and that russ if he could just kind of minimize mistakes and just make the right decision more often than not and putting his and putting his team, you know, in a in a in a in a more positive situation, that then Russ will be that quarterback. Because the whole my whole issue was that Justin Fields can constantly put his team to have to make up for his mistakes and, and constantly putting pressure on his own defense. But then I'm seeing games like this and I'm just like, you know, I have some head scratchers. You know, I'm just like, I I don't know what Russ is exact is 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 exactly doing. You know, like he he seems so lifeless. Quite frankly, I, I want to use like more basic terminology because Orlovsky, you know, did it way better than I ever could. You know, I, I try to think like, you know, how can I explain this in a way where if you just knew nothing about football, you know, like what what are you seeing? You know, um, and I think it, it just like it just looks lifeless. It, it almost looks like he does like Russ doesn't want to be there. Like like he's like like his like, you know what it really reminds me of? This is going to sound funny, but it, it's so reminiscent of like. He doesn't actually really want to play football. He's not doesn't really want to be his quarterback, but his dad keeps telling him he has to. You're a quarterback. You got to be a quarterback. Right? It's like high school. I don't really I don't want to be a quarterback like varsity blues. I don't want to be a quarterback. I just want to like go to college and study like art or something. And but and he's just like so he just like does it. He's just like going through the motions like all right. And I'm not saying that he doesn't want to play football. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that Russ doesn't care because I actually do believe he cares. But it just, it just something feels fundamentally wrong. Whereas Justin Fields seems to me like he's fighting, right? Like he does want this. 
I think he's, he fails a lot, and, and that's kind of what Orlovsky kind of highlighted, where it's kind of like if you have these two quarterbacks who are having these issues, who do you go with? And it is true. I guess if you have two quarterbacks that are definitely taking away from your team, well, then I would lean more on going with Justin Fields because Justin Fields, at least I do believe, could have a higher ceiling than Russ. And there is still some of that more explosive potential. But I'm surprised what I saw from Russ because I actually really do believe and that's why maybe like we shouldn't jump to too many conclusions on with the preseason that if you could get the Denver Broncos with Sean Payton Russell Wilson that the Steelers absolutely can legitimately win some games and and be a tough out you know especially if that defense continues to be good um to continues to be great I, I I do believe that but you have to ask yourself, was Russ able to be, um, shall we say, passable, you know, um, because of Sean Payton? I don't think people are giving Sean Payton enough credit for, quite frankly, maximizing what Russ can do. And I'm sorry, the coaching, you know, the at least the offensive coaching staff is not on the level of Sean Payton. So you're probably not going to get the Denver Broncos last season, Russell Wilson. You're certainly not going to get better, Russ, either. So if you are going to get a notch or two um, under that, then maybe you do bring it to Justin. Because because at least Justin Fields, maybe not as much this game, but at least his first preseason game, um, there was some life there. There was definitely some positives. Definitely some negatives, which I then used as a a selling point to say, I told you Justin Fields isn't ready. But to me, that like, you know, this and that, that's the problem that the Steelers have right now. They have two quarterbacks that you can't get really excited about. I'm trying to get excited about. I'm trying to talk myself into it. I'm trying to say, Russell Wilson, if he could just do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, boom, the series can be good. And it's like, ah, Justin Fields, if you could just minimize some of his mistakes and have him just process the game a little bit faster, just like a, a fraction of a second better, you know, and, you know, and, and kind of command the offensive line a little bit better, like, boom, he can make some moves. And you, But it just, it's just not there you know it just feels like they're playing in like quicksand it just it just feels amiss and maybe they'll be able to get it going this is this video is not intended to just like bash either quarterbacks but it's just not a great situation and you have to face that reality if you're a Steelers fan you have to face that reality it's not to say that they can't get it to go this is only preseason it is unfortunate that Russ um has a sore calf or whatever it's being defined as um like that that is a thing but um, I don't know. Uh, it, to me, my, my, my gut tells me that Justin Fields is doing everything he can to prove that he is a legitimate starting quarterback in the NFL. He's doing everything he can. Russ, on the other hand, I think is probably just trying to be like, is, is probably trying to prove I'm, I'm a great quarterback. I always was a great quarterback and I will continue to be a great quarterback. It's a different level of energy. It's a different level of focus. And quite frankly, the stakes are different. There's more to lose for Justin Fields. And because of that, you may get a better quarterback out of Justin as well as the team might rally behind him more. So it's hard to imagine that if Justin Fields is the starting quarterback and maybe they kind of go through their ups and downs, that the team is going to start to be like, God, you know, come on, put in Russ, put in Russ, put in Russ. Whereas when Russell Wilson kind of struggles, it feels like it's going to be a lot easier for a lot of the players to say, come on, get Russ out of this game and put in, you know, Justin, let's go. At least he gives us a shot. At least he cares, you know, whatever it may be. And at the end of the day, that could be the difference between having a unified locker room and making the playoffs versus not. Um, But the Steelers are in a a difficult situation. I feel like I'm going to probably continue to bounce back and forth on this one. Um, But it's going to be interesting to see how it unfolds. But those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. What do you all think? Um, Now that we've seen, you know, a, a few more, you know, we have more information. Who do you think should be the starting quarterback? uh russell wilson or justin fields let me know in the comments below i read every single comment so whether you agree with me or disagree with me either way let's get in some discussions let's get in some fights but ultimately let's just have some fun and please do consider subscribing we are building an amazing community here and i would absolutely love to see you part of it i want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to something that we're really excited to be part of i think we're well on our way to doing it 
And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much and see you next time.